hello everyone today in this video we'll be learning the module 4 of big data and in this module we have how many topics three topics okay how many topics we have three topics that's the first thing second what are those what are those topics map reduce hive and pig what are those topics map reduce hive and pig this much you got to know now let's discuss what is there in each of these topic what are the super important questions okay very short module actually it's a very long module but there are not much questions asked uh, from various topics only few topics are there which are most repeated which i have written in this note okay and if you want to know what are the key points and all and how does the processing and all happen those for those you have to listen to the video and explanation because i haven't mentioned the explanation in the words that's why the pdf is very small here okay this is just for the revision one okay next before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support help me make more videos like this if you have got any doubt ping me on instagram <coughs> okay so map reduce has how many questions three questions okay how many questions are there in my produce three questions are there so let's discuss the first super important question very important one we will explain the big data architecture with a need diagram okay what is the big data architecture we have to explain with a need diagram okay in the module for if they ask you have to write the four layers of big data architecture what are those four layers data storage data processing support layer application task now how to remember this one see whenever you want to perform some task obviously you will need some data right that's the first layer then data storage layer and when you perform the task you will be doing some things like map reducing yarn hbase data storing data processing and all for all of those things you'll be processing right that is the next layer data processing layer once you have data and you have processed sometimes it uh, does fail uh, in the data processing right so you have to support it so application support layer is the next one and when you support it and the processing is done successfully you will be uh, using it for the application right or the data consumption that is the last layer which is data consumption layer after you have known what are the four layers now you have to know what is inside those four layers in the application layer we have the data visualization data analytics machine learning and applications and uh, those kind of things next in the data um, in some application support layer we have the map reduce apis hive pick have QLs uh, aggregation summarizing just a slight support okay next we have the data processing layer in that we have the map reduce yarn these all things you already know just write to about those things few words last is about the data storage layer how do we store obviously we store in hdfs hadoop file system for big data and its size is uh, 64 mb by default this much if you write you can expect uh, nice marks for this question Next, uh, what is the uh, MapReduce processing step? This is the most repeated one in this uh, topic, MapReduce, okay. So firstly, you have to draw this diagram here and you have to uh, mention what's happening one by one, okay. So how many steps are there? This is one step, you are fetching the data from somewhere and you are storing it in input. Then you are uh, here, what we are doing is key values uh, pair splitting, okay. Key value pair generation is happening here. First, it will get split, then RR will happen. RR means read record. Then mapping will happen and those will get combined. Then here, the shuffling process will happen in the sorting process reducing and the final output will be stored to hdfs okay all these steps you have to mention one by one what's happening in each one okay so for the functions used in that and the uh, like the key points and all that i'll be discussing now for more information you can uh, refer the official notes or the textbook so start from here <coughs> From the HDFS, we'll be getting a uh, raw data and the big data, and which is in the format of binary, which is stored in the HDFS file format. That is what the input is. It can be any file, folder, image, audio, or document. All those uh, comprises of input, and you will be getting the input here. That's the first step. Second, when you get the input here, what you have to do is you have to transfer that input to the output file. Okay, the, uh, by using MapReduce. For MapReducing, what we'll be doing is first we have to split it. Split it means what? If you have a uh, paragraph like this okay there are many sentences in that splitting means what separating each sentence one by one so how many sentences are here one two three four five five sentences will be split as follows okay so in this case we had just three um uh, sentences sentences i mean like the files or the different audios or so on okay all those things will be split into how many instances are there now after you have done the splitting you have to see how many times what has occurred like for example in the same audio if you hear one word five times the frequency is five right so you'll be assigning that value to five like that will be forming key value pairs how many words have appeared how many times that is uh, what's happening here for uh, achieving this one we have to read the record right that's what the read record will do here after the read record as you can see here i've written a small one here what does one indicate one indicates input key value pairs input key value pairs will be sent to map map what it will do it will map how many times what has occurred okay it will just map it and keep now this thing will have to uh, preserve okay that will be sent to combine what is that intermediate key value pair that which i have generated as a map that is intermediate key value pair that will be sent to combine combine means what here i have got from the first sentence frequency second sentence i have got some frequency third sentence i have got some frequency now what you observe is uh, 
this one from here this one from here and this one from here all are same so you just have to add this one and this one and this one to know in the whole file this word has appeared this plus this plus this many times right that's what in the combining will happen our next step is the shuffling process in shuffling process what will happen is these all things will be combined and placed in a one uh, file okay like just like combining shuffling also will consider uh, from the other nodes this is from one node i'm talking about this input right like that many nodes input will be happening right all this will be combined in one okay like see you can see this arrow right like this from the other nodes okay from the other nodes it will be combined and put one now what we have is one file in which we have the words and their frequencies uh, written now we have to sort it sort it means what we have to sort uh, in the alphabetical order like the uh, starting letters will be in the starting ending letter will be in the ending okay that one uh, process is done in the sorting then reducing means what after we have sorted from the um, this one shuffling process and uh, we have uh, gather the new nodes everything is with us then uh, reducing means what we'll be uh, seeing that this word has appeared uh, like for example five times this word has appeared six times and the same word which was here it has appeared seven times okay so we'll be writing this in a form of a single sentence okay like this five comma six comma seven like that we'll be writing it in a single sentence that is what is called reducing or if there is any inconsistency that will be handled if there is any duplication that will be removed all those things will be happening it will be optimizing in the reduce okay then the output file will be sent to hdfs okay so that's all what you have to write and uh, the th three which i can which you can see here which i've written is final key value pairs okay so that's all uh, what i have to explain after writing this diagram and if you want the exact steps how they are these are the steps which i have written in my own words you can uh, go through it okay next question which is not super important but it's good for uh, filling the answer script where uh, explain the calculation algorithms used in MapReduce. okay so these are the algorithms and the uh, calculations used in one stretch in one uh, go you can see all the uh, algorithms so i have not explained any of these just remember this and write in your own words why because this is simple english right you can uh, you know what is counting what is summing what is sorting distinct means unique values collating means collection that's why i've written in bracket filtering or parsing which is stupid value just delete it distributed task execution graph processing cross uh, correlation grouping matrix uh, vector multiplication and then we have the relational algebra in the uh, fifth semester we have learned dbms right in that what are the operations use projection union intersection difference join grouping aggregation and multiplication all these things you have to just write a few keywords if they ask about uh, calculation algorithm although they won't ask they have never asked these things but this will be helping you to um, fill the answers if you uh, forget any answers in this one or in the previous question okay in this one so you can use these uh, hints to fill the answers so that was about the map reduce and moving on to the high we have four questions here super important ones so let's have a look at that this is the most important one where with a neat diagram explain the architecture of hive okay architecture of hive is this one you have to uh, how do you make this diagram first make three layers okay first draw three lines and in each three line you have to draw three boxes okay what you will draw you will draw three boxes so how many boxes you will have nine boxes right one two three four five six seven eight nine in the nine box just here you have to make it a uh, like a cylinder one okay after you have done this much observe carefully for execution of any three uh, anything we need three things right obviously we need client ne next we need server with client and server you can execute the things but you need an interface in between that is nothing but the web browser or the api based on the context so these are the three things obviously in the top layer web browser user application or the client and jdbc application or the server you have to have written this one just uh, make it more uh, precise like web interface hive command line interface hive server after i have done this much what will happen is from the web browser you will get url from the user application you will get command and from this you will get the server uh, status all these things will be combined what is to be done will be specified by this one how it is to be uh, done is specified by the url where it is to be done is uh, specified by the server all these things the drive will be like execute and store in the meta store and finally if it is good it will be stored to the database as well that is the architecture of hive okay just draw this diagram explain in your own words <coughs> What are the main features of hive you know to remember this question hive means what uh, there is a lot of honeybees okay hive means a group of honeybees okay in a uh, group of honeybees what happened is a man came and uh, you know just um, took a stick and bet there um, where honeybees live that thing comb honeycomb okay 
a man take uh, took a stick and bit that honeycomb very badly so all these honeybees are very much injured and very much angry so they want to take revenge on this one okay and what they are telling is uh, we have um, uh, we got a lot of injustice from you now it's the revolution time okay like that you have to remember okay now what's the uh, story is they want a revolution revolution means what the person should not disturb them okay he should not come and beat their honeycomb that's the revolution they want so they will have a slogan that slogan you have to remember if you forget the slogan you will lose the marks the slogan is come join for the revolution day come join for the revolution day pick up first letters of it come join for the revolution day C J F T R D C J F T R D. That's only you have to remember here. After I've written C J F T R D in the back of your answer script secretly, then what you have to do is you have to write each word. C for easy to code and scaling. C for code. By that you have to remember easy to code and scalable. J means support SQL join group and order. F is supports custom types and functions. T is translates queries into MapReduce joins. R is provides rich data types and uh, maps in array. D is uses data store to create tasks similar to SQL. Okay, that's all. You have to make this six are there. Come join for the revolution day. Okay. Moving on, we have the Hive workflow. Very simple. In the next also, we have the Pig workflow. All are very simple. You just have to make this diagram and explain what is happening in each step. Okay. E easily you can observe what's happening in each step. To make this first, make how many boxes? Four boxes like this. Okay. Like Windows, you will be making four boxes. One box you will make here. One box you will make here. That's all. What you will do first for the Hive workflow? Four boxes you will make here, and one box you will make here, and one box you will make here. It's it's this image is there in your mind, right? That's all. After you have done this much, you have to fill the scripts. Now start from here. User client interface. Obviously, see if you give money to the shopkeeper, the shopkeeper will uh, take the product and give to you only. So initial also step you are only there, and final also step you are only there. Means you gave and you got back. The first step and last step come back to you. So user client interface when it uh, sends the request, the first step happens from there only and the last step which is the 11th step that also ends to the user interface only so that's the first thing you have to remember then what will happen a few steps will happen the execution map reducing and all let's have a look at this one it will send to the uh, user client interface will submit a request to the driver driver will observe what is to be done then it will send to the compiler to check the syntax and all whether the syntax is right or not when it sends to the syntax and, and everything is right it will send to metastore to check if the data is present for execution or not see if you want to fetch how many chocolates are present in the database that data should be present in the database right if there is no data like how many chocolates are there will you ever get how many chocolates are there in the database obviously not so the meta story will check if that is there or not if it is there it will say yes we can proceed with the execution and it will say okay driver send to the execution engine we can execute it it will send an execution will happen here whatever the query is that that will be processed but that answer will be what very 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 big okay because it's big data so we have to reduce it so map reduce will happen here and again come back to execution engine and from the driver it will be sent back to user interface like you have three kit cats in your bag okay moving on we have the next question which is write a short note on hiveql so few keywords regarding that is hiveql is a querying language and it is used for data definition data manipulation and for querying we'll be discussing on these three in detail then we have large base of sql users who use the hiveql okay so there are three type of languages that's the second point you have to write data definition language what it does it does the database uh, definition commands for example like create database show database create schema and create table data manipulation language does the following drop database drop schema alter table drop table load data and use database next we have the data querying language it is used to select specific entity satisfying a condition means there are rows in the uh, table right we are selecting those rows okay that's what's happening in the data querying language so these are the three things you have to write if they ask the question write a short note on hiveql Moving on to the last topic, which is the uh, pig. There are two type of questions which could be asked. The first is about the applications of the pig. See, see what is pig? Pig. It's a mini version of MapReduce. MapReduce. What it does? In large data. It will reduce to small data. Like that only. It uh, pig also does. But in addition to that, it does the data flow. What do you mean by data flow? Data flow means from the node uh, tables, the input and generates the output for the next node. Means there is uh, a lot of steps in between, right? So pig. What it will do? It will transfer the data from here to here, from here to here, and so on. Like the intermediate task of the data transfer it will do 
what are the applications you can see some of the application like analyze large data sets execute tasks processing large data streaming online data data processing processing time sensitive data extract and analyze data okay <clears throat> Moving on to the last question, which we have explained the PIG workflow and the PIG architecture. So uh, both are the same uh, questions. Like uh, you have to draw this diagram and explain the workflow. Okay. So in this diagram, also same as the HiveQL. Here also we're doing the same thing. There's a PIG Latin script here, and Grunt shell it executes the commands and the PIG server will fetch the data that is passed to the parser to check the syntax. And optimizer optimizes the whatever the code you have got that will be optimized and sent to the compiler for the syntax uh, analysis. And then the execution uh, engine will do the execution task of whatever the query is to be performed. It will map reduce and it will be sent to the map reduce process okay and you have three types of execution scripts grunt shell it is an interactive shell script file is the commands written in a script file to execute a pic server and emulate script is the udfs undefined uh, files functions are unavailable in the pig uh, built-in operations so study this one it will be more than sufficient for you for the module for our big data make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one